Hey guys and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today we have the 2019 Porsche 911 Carrera GTS. This is the 991.2 generation. So this has a flat six with a twin turbo under the hood. This one does have the sport exhaust, so it sounds killer. While the salesman's inside, we'll go ahead and pop the frunk. Take a look at the space underneath. Tons of space up front. Finished in this beautiful white metallic with red inserts. Carbon fiber all on the door trim. Red contrast stitching. Sport chrono package. This one's stickered for right about 144. So this one is pretty up there. Carrera GTS on the kick plate. Just waiting for Liam. Oh, there he is. Once inside, seats hold you really well. You got Porsche embossed up on the headrest. GTS comes with Alcantara up top. And here's Liam. Alrighty. Let's do it. <laughs> that a nice surprise visit from an A8L. <laughs> no, at least the brakes work good though. Yeah. Oh, that would have been a conversation and a half. Yeah, it would. Squeaky brakes, I'll take them any day. Oh, yeah. If they stop the car. <laughs> I'd rather have noisy brakes than uh, non-functional brakes. Yeah. But instantly, this is this is an awesome car to drive. Yeah, very smooth. Um, as you said earlier, gearing is a little bit different, um, but you can definitely drive this car every day, no issues whatsoever. Oh, absolutely, especially at C4S yep. around here. Yeah. I'm not sure. Are you, I don't think you could get a GTS in all-wheel drive. Could you can. You, you can't really? get a GTS in all-wheel drive. Yep. Yeah, and for this kind of weather, that's the key, because, you know, just in the drive, I don't think we'll be able to put much power down today, because it was just kicking out sideways every time you try to go near full throttle. It's easy to go sideways and it's that Jaguar F-Type R. <laughs> yeah. 
those things are, uh, they're finicky. Yeah. Well, it's just like it's the suspension setup in it. It's relatively soft because that's a dedicated Grand Tour. Yep. Um, so as soon as you put all that 550 horsepower to the floor, I mean, it's going to go sideways on you if you're in a corner. Oh, absolutely. But the good thing about that car is that being front-engined, it's easy to correct it. Right. This car being rear-engined, you oh. have a lot more weight that you have to correct in a an oversteer situation than you would in the Jaguar. And it's it's very, very snappy. It, you know, it's not like you feel the back start to go and it gets out a little bit sideways. No, it goes and it goes. Yeah, exactly. Not for the faint of heart. Oh, absolutely not. There's a reason why they used to call them Widowmakers. When the first what was that, the 83 turbo, 911 yeah, turbo? First gen turbos. Yeah. They would just, well, obviously with the older style of turbo setup, uh, there was quite a bit more turbo lag, so you'd come to around 4,000 RPMs, then that's where all your boost would kick in, and they would just hit like a hurricane, so you had to be able to, uh, to control that. Exactly. Obviously, back then we weren't uh, so fortunate as to have uh, stability and traction control either. So, no driver aids. Same thing with the CGT. Yep. That had. Did that have any traction control or anything in it? Maybe very like. I know it didn't have stability control. It might have had an early on uh, form of traction control, but that's it. I think that's going to be the last of its kind because everything's federally mandated to have traction control, stability control, everything. Yeah. The other good thing about this car is there's plenty of leg room. There is. I mean, you don't have a motor up front anyway. Yeah. And I mean, if you could call these back seats back seats, I mean, I guess you could fit two very small children back there, or if your passengers wanted to have their knees in the dashboard, <laughs> then you could fit a human back there. I actually, I took a test drive um, with a husband and wife. The husband was driving, I was sitting passenger seat, and his wife, who was five foot 11, sat behind me. And my knees were pretty much against the glove box. Um, but she was able to get herself in the back seat and ride in the back for a test drive at five foot 11, which is which I thought was pretty impressive. Oh yeah. Definitely the tallest person that I've ever seen in the back seat of a 911. I can so, imagine. Yeah. Yeah, shifts are a lot quicker in Sport Plus. Yeah. But at the same time, you don't get the great gurgles and pops from the Sport exhaust system. Exactly. But if you were to be in a track situation, Sport Plus is the way to go. The motor's running at its highest level of efficiency, whereas Sport sacrifices a little bit of efficiency for that fun exhaust now. Exactly. I also feel like, I don't know if this is just me, but in Sport Plus, the throttle gets a little bit heavier. That might just be me? Um, it could be the case. I'm not exactly sure with uh, with this one in particular, but uh, definitely a possibility. I know that obviously Sport Plus modifies throttle response, but I'm not sure if it actually stiffens up the, the pedal itself. funny part about uh, people who are Lamborghini fans or Ferrari fans, they look at these 2019 Porsches and they ask if they're old just because of the setup of this kind of center console area, but they just don't understand that the, the purpose of this car is to be a driver's car. You know, we're not so much concerned about how big the touchscreen is in the center, you know, how the <laughs> buttons are laid out and all that sort of stuff. It's more so how the car handles and how it, uh, how it gets up and goes. Exactly. Not to mention the fit and finish. That's a huge thing for most oh, sports cars, and you're not going to find a manufacturer with a better fit and finish than a Porsche. Absolutely not. It's one of the best quality interiors I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, sub Bugatti and stuff, but yeah, even exactly. Bugatti, even Bugatti's Bugatti. a more expensive Porsche. Honestly, it is. Yeah. Yep. 
or if you really wanted to go far, a more expensive beetle. Yep. Because it sort of, I mean, if you take a beetle and squish it, I could see that. That's that's the Bugatti style. Yeah. It's like someone sat on a new beetle. In the engine in the Bugatti, that's a it's a 16 cylinder, right? So but it's two Audi V8s, right? Strapped together in a W setup. It's insane. Yeah. It's like a W16, I want to say. And, it, and I'm pretty sure they use two twin turbo V8s because it's four turbos in the yep. thing. Four turbos, four radiators. I can only imagine the maintenance costs. Oh, yeah. I've heard stories. Yep. I heard like an oil change was something like $30,000 in that car. Oh, yeah. That's guaranteed. Yeah. Um, so every year you have to get new tires. That's twenty grand. Every four sets, you have to get a new set of wheels. That's 150 grand. Wow. And it's like, it doesn't matter how many miles you put on it. It says every year you have to do the tires. Yeah. I bet there's some buyers out there that test that theory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe regrettably so if, it, uh, if one pops on them. Yeah, it's because of a specific compound it has due to the fact that the car can go so fast. Oh, uh, true, yeah. So I, I think it's, if you left the tires on there, it would be fine, but if you were to go 250 on one of those tires that's been there for a couple of years, it wouldn't end well. Yeah, yeah, because the, the friction and the heat at that speed just gets so much more exponentially hot for every more mile an hour that you go. Exactly. Visibility out the front is absolutely spectacular. Yeah. You can see all the apexes you need and everything like that. Yeah. And I always use the haunches of the car as my uh, my uh, my point of aim when I'm going through the corners. Yep. So if it's in a left-hand apex, I'm using that left-hand pillar to uh, to line up my apex coming into the turn. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Or not so much the pillar, but the haunch. Right. So both times we passed that intersection without filming, he wasn't there. Both times we passed by with, the, with the camera on, he's been there. Yep. You're not live on YouTube, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, you could be watching your stream and waiting for us. <laughs> yeah. speed though if you don't want to be driving fast this car teams right now it does uh, if you want to yep. that's insane well at least it got traction that time yeah yep what were you in fourth gear on that third one? third Crackles are insane in this thing. Yeah, they are. Yeah, much more noticeable on this car too than the Boxer that you drove, just because of the difference in the motor. Right. Yeah, there must be something going on politically, because there's another state trooper parked on that on-ramp over there. You probably can't see him from your angle, but they're all over the place. So he must be landing in Portsmouth. Yep. Good my way. 
Not so good my way. How bad are we? Dang it. I think they're probably waiting for the um, motorcade to be part of that. Oh, absolutely. waiting for the president if he would pull over people for speeding. <laughs> uh. Oh, well that guy, well I guess that'll be the test. <laughs> that guy just rolled coal on half of Exeter. <laughs> I never understood the whole point behind that. It's like, yeah, let's kill the environment one diesel at a time. Yeah, absolutely. The more black smoke, the better. I've actually seen somebody tune an Audi um, petrol to roll coal. Really? Yeah, and the motor blew up within two months. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, he must have had to have... Uh, he made it run super rich. Rich, yeah. Let's see if we can get any grip at all of this time. I'll have to roll <laughs> into it because it was so snappy last time. insane it's like every time nope nope and it's funny because every time the rear rotates that way yeah I don't know if it's just the crowning of the road or yeah it could be but I, I always laugh at people that you know in the YouTube videos where they power slide into a crowd or whatever mm -hmm. As, the, as soon as the rear starts rotating, you should lift. You don't stay in it and then say, ah, it's fine. The car will take care of itself. Yeah. Absolutely not. It's just amazing how smooth it is on the highway. Yeah, when you want it to be, it dies right down. Oh, absolutely. Thanks, Liam, for coming along again. Sure thing. Thanks for coming in. It's always my pleasure. Um, well, I have to schedule something for either a week or two or three from now and film more Porsches. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll do a 4S. Try and, uh, if we get a nice day, we'll do a 992 and take that out for a spin. Oh, yeah. But thanks so much for watching, guys, and stay tuned for future videos. Thank you.